pregame.com. Welcome back to pregame.tv. NBA action on Sunday. The San Antonio Spurs traveling to the Staples Center to play the L.A. Lakers, the never-say-die Lakers. Kobe put him on his back and said, we're, we're not losing this. We're going to the playoffs. Incredible performance. We're taping on Friday night, guys. Uh, of course, they're playing on Friday night. Um, the Lakers, incredible performance Wednesday with uh, Kobe. 47 yeah, points, 48 minutes. He's unreal. And, and, and that's the thing. We've seen a couple different Kobe's this year. We've seen Kobe early on trying to put the Lakers on his back before Nash came back while Howard was going through his growing pains and his injuries and uh, Kobe trying to carry him and the Lakers were under 500 looked like they would miss out on the playoffs then he tried to be the unselfish Kobe and go for 15 16 and dish for 10 or 12 that worked for a little bit until all of a sudden it's like you know what let's kind of just take each game at a time let's not go with any set blueprint and then if I need to put you on my back I will he did it the other night and he did it Incredible game to watch. And it was the first time this year that the Lakers won back-to-back -back games. They played the night before and then played again on Wednesday. But let's not get too carried away. It was the Portland Trailblazers. Now, the Lakers have had horrible history in Portland. But this Portland team this year, I think they were on an eight-game losing streak right. or whatever. So they're not playing good basketball at all. But the Lakers were in trouble. They had to come from behind against Portland. Now they control their own destiny. You know, Utah owns the tiebreaker, but they've got the one-game cushion. So the Lakers can win out the final three games and shut Utah out. Mm -hmm. The other thing that you got to be concerned about, you know, before we get to your pick, and I'll set it up to you as we talk, we're talking on Friday, so obviously we don't have the lines, and plus both teams are playing tonight. But we've seen several times this year Popovich deciding to rest players. Now, you would say, this is a big game. This means a lot. You don't rest players in a game like this because they're in the number two seed chasing Oklahoma City. And we right. talked before we come on air. You've got some thoughts on that. Yeah, I, I, maybe, the, maybe San Antonio doesn't care about the one seed because if they were the one seed and the Lakers did make the playoffs, they would be matched up against the eight seed, the Lakers. So, uh, you know, San Antonio to me is a team, they've got to be clicking on all cylinders. Tony Parker needs to be healthy. Ginobili needs to be healthy. The young guys are stepping up, but they need all their key components. They've got a great coach. We know that. And it'll be interesting to see how they do. Uh, it's not a good matchup, though, for San Antonio. The Lakers are still good enough to take them out in the series. Well, most people, the Lakers do and uh, most people feel that the Lakers can have their most success in the playoffs if they catch San Antonio because San Antonio is not the young athletic team right. that like Oklahoma City or the, or the Clippers or even like you said Houston teams that like to get out run and gun the Lakers defense is horrible and if you got a team that can move the ball transition the Lakers are in trouble because they just don't get to their spots quick enough to play defense uh, but a team like San Antonio that's got some you know age on them a uh, little bit more deliberate that's a better matchup for the Lakers so um, it would be in San Antonio's best interest if the you know if they're the number two seed they don't get the Lakers. If they if they go through the motion, so to speak, and uh, kind of just go out there. But they may announce prior to that they're going to be resting players. Remember, last time the line was out, and we saw it go from two to nine and a half because they rested a bunch of guys, uh, including uh, Duncan and including Tony Parker. And, of course, Ginobili was already out. So, uh, But this is my, uh, my free play, Mark. I'm going to make it official so I can get down and dirty and let you know why I like the L.A. Lakers in this game. And you know me, being the Knicks fan, I am an anti-Laker guy. But I am also here to make money and make you money here at pregame.tv. I'll play the Lakers. Why? Because I think they'll win their final three games and Utah won't have a chance no matter what Utah does in their final three games. The Lakers' last three games, they're all at home. Tonight, again, we're taping on Friday. Tonight, they have Golden State, then they get San Antonio, and then they close against Houston at home. I think they'll be focused on all three games. And like we said, Kobe's doing what he needs to do to get the Lakers' Ws. Gasol being back, that helps out. Howard's playing much better. He's much more under control. He's staying where he should be close to the glass and he's making a difference and he's taking his free throw shooting much more serious. So I think the Lakers will be focused. I think they close out on a three-game winning streak. They get that A spot. San Antonio probably stays in that two spot. 
And the Lakers will be up against it when they play Oklahoma City in the first round of the playoffs. But first things first, got to get to the playoffs to have a crack at OKC. I think the Lakers will do that, and they'll clean it up on Sunday, pretty much wrap things up by taking out San Antonio. I made this line about five and a half Lakers if we know that Duncan uh, will be playing. And again, don't know about Ginobili and Parker, uh, how Pop will go with it. But uh, I think the Lakers will win this game by double digits. They'll jump out quickly, and they'll ride the momentum from a Friday win coming off their two other wins against New Orleans and at Portland. And like Marco said, Portland, eight-game losing streak when the Lakers went up there. But the Lakers found themselves in a deep hole, early double digits, and then they came up with a W. And psychologically, that means a lot because, as Marco told you, they don't win up there at the Rose Garden. So my free play here, free game, pregame.tv, the free play, take the Lakers, no matter what the points on Sunday, lay it. They'll get that W over San Antonio. Okay, well, you're making the bold statement, and uh, even if that line does come out inflated with the uh, if they rest some players, you like the Lakers that continue to roll. Okay, well, that's it for this week. We, me and Ken will be back next week for the weekend action. We'll be talking playoffs next week uh, when we come playoffs. in here on the weekend. Playoffs, <laughs> playoffs. <laughs> All right. Uh, every time I hear that, we got to make I that. I got to have more. Got to need that sound, bite. sound bite. Yep. All right, guys. Hey, have a great weekend. Uh, the first crew will be back early in the week, uh, Fezzik, VR, and Brian Leonard. So stay tuned for those guys early in the week, and we'll catch you on the weekend. Thanks for watching Pregame.tv. Good luck this weekend. Cash some tickets, guys.